welcome to our channel, This Life by Us. I'm Jackie. And I'm Lauren. And today we have a fun little video for you. So Lauren is actually going to teach us how to do this cute little ring. Mm -hmm. It is a quick and easy wreath to do for Halloween since that is coming up pretty soon. And it's all Dollar Tree items, guys. Everything last Dollar Tree. Bit. So this exact wreath cost exactly $10. We used 10 items from the Dollar Tree to create it. Depending on how much you like to add, it could be more or less. So, but this one ended up being $10. So I think it came out super cute for, for that price. I love it. And it's different and fun and I love the mesh tubing and how it's all like the dimension on it. It's super cute. Let's get on to the video. Yeah. did was I pulled out my mesh tube and I'm going to start with orange because I have purchased more of orange and I'm going to just start and we're just going basically this is super easy we're just going to wrap around the metal that I that we bought a bunch of times to give it a real thick dimension so we're going to start I pulled this one out and we're going to start with the orange tubing we're going to start by tying this so that it doesn't move and it stays in place as we loop it around then we're just basically just going to loop around. This stuff is kind of messy, so hold on to it. Try to hold on to it. And we're just going to loop around a ton of times. You have to be really careful with these with this mesh tubing because if you pull it you get like this it kind of pinches and you don't want that you want it to be full so if that does happen just push it down back together then it gets nice and full again kind of cumbersome because just the nature of this material that wants to get all knotty but it will turn into a real beautiful project in the end about half so when I'm done with my last piece I'll do this one a little bit tighter and then I'm going to tie it again to the metal just so that you make sure that these things are stained and I'm gonna double knot, knot them. And then I'll do another orange to complete the circle we're gonna tie again The next color I'm going to be wrapping is actually going to be black. But remember when you begin to always start by connecting yours in the back. This is using two orange mesh from the Dollar Tree, two colors, and then one of the black. And this is what it looks like right now. Now, it looks pretty full at this point, but you could still see some of the wiring, and I want it to look really, really full. I don't want to see that. I want it to be hidden. So what I'm going to do from this point is continue wrapping every other color. So since this is black, then I'll go with orange, black, orange, until we're done.
kind of like the dimension that this has taken and the form that's taken. I did have an extra black, but I kind of like, I like it with more orange than black. I just wanted a few hints of black. Also, they do do these at the Dollar Tree. They have this mesh tubing in purple as well in like this kind of purple to add that, that third color if you wanted to. But I kept it like this. So for now, I'm just gonna keep it like this. It is pretty thick and you don't see any of the metal wiring at all, at least not from afar. This is the way that it looks for now. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this ribbon that I purchased at the Dollar Tree that's really, really nice. I have one open. It's on burlap, so it's orange, orange burlap. And then on this side, it has like black glitter chevron pattern, which is really beautiful. And it also has like that metal on the side. It's very uh, pliable, so you can move it around, do whatever you need. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to just wrap around just very loosely. I don't want too many wraps because I do want to see the mesh tubing, but I'm gonna wrap a little bit around before putting on, before adding on my bow at the very top. So I'm still going to want to find a line in my bar, like in here, so that it can attach the ribbon so that it doesn't, it doesn't move. Then I'm going to start wrapping it, do some light wraps around. Only like four loops is what I'm going to do. I don't want it too thick either because you don't want it to smash the mesh on the bottom. I, I'm going to leave some space to be able to adjust later. I'm going to cut the excess. Find a place to tie in the back. There, that's pretty seamless and it's going to stay intact. I'm not going to move around. Once you have the ribbon, then I'm going to tie. I'm just going to create a pretty bow to put here in the center and then I'll probably have it draping down. Here, you could feel free to just be as creative as you want. I'm just going to do a regular bow, but you can do whichever kind of bow you like or without a bow as well. It's totally up to you. just want to trim whatever length you like. I like it to be kind of long. Just trim it however you like. And there you have it with the bow and the mesh and the ribbon. Lots of dimension. Very fun wreath for Halloween. Now something that I might add to this a little bit later might be a, a sign or something that hangs inside that says boo or attach things to the side. I really like this finished product. This is really, really easy and simple. And I love that as time goes on and with things that I find in the store that I might be able to add more things to this and just kind of make it my own. This is the final product. I really, really love the way that it came out. I highly recommend it. It is a little bit cumbersome going over and over and over, but it's actually really easy. And I think you can watch like an episode of whatever on TV, like even like, yeah, and just go around. You don't even really have to pay attention because I think the more messy and loose it is, the better. And then any ribbon. I really love the quality of this ribbon. It's actual burlap with black chevron glitter uh, pattern on it. I think it was really, really cute. Anything to make it your own. Add, you know, maybe the letter of your family in the middle. Like, we have a C, so maybe hanging a C inside the middle. Or if you wanted to add purple, you know, they do have this to be in purple at the Dollar Tree as well. Or like a sign that says boo. Yeah. I know other people put like spiders and stuff. I really wanted something dainty and cute. More for Halloween that we can use during, you know, like September, October time. I'm really happy with the way that it came out. And for $10, it's yeah. like, and it was super, super easy and super cute. If you like this video, comment below. Well, let us know and give us a thumbs up. Yes. Yeah, let us know what you have purchased at the Dollar Tree for Halloween. How are you decorating? They have quite a few things there. If you want to see more Dollar Tree crafts, comment below. We'll be sure to thumbs up. Yes. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.